Today we're going to be talking about proportional and non-proportional relationships. So for vocabulary, what is a proportional relationship? Well, a relationship is proportional if it is if its equation is in the form y equals kx and it passes through zeros the origin of 0 0. So we need these two things. It needs to be in the form y equals kx and it must go through 0 0. Those are the two main parts. So here's an example. If we have the equation y equals 3x if we create a table remember we can put any numbers that we want in for x so if we put in negative 2 for x we get negative 6 and so on and so on so if we graph this this negative 2 6 is here negative 1 negative 3 0 0 1 comma 3 2 comma 6 we see when we draw this line it is linear and it is going through the origin Thus, this is a proportional relationship. The other part of vocabulary that we have is the non-proportional relationship. A relationship is non-proportional if the equation is of the form y equals kx plus b and it does not pass through 0, 0. It does not pass through the origin. So, the important parts. Does not pass through 0, 0, and we see how this is a little bit extra off to the side of the y equals kx direct variation equation. So if there's anything that's a little extra off to the side, it's still linear, but it is not proportional. So for example, if we have this equation, y is equal to 2x minus 1. This minus 1 right here is showing that it is not proportional. So if we create a table and we plug in some numbers for x, so if we plug in negative 2, we have 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, minus 1 is negative 5. So if we continue this along, uh, along our table, go with negative 1 and negative 3, 0, negative 1, 1 comma 1, 2 comma 3. If we graph this, negative 2, negative 5, negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 1, 1, comma 1, 2, comma 3. If you notice, it does not pass through the origin, does not pass through 0, 0. Where does it pass? It passes on at negative 1. On the y-axis, it passes at negative 1. If you notice... This negative 1 on the equation is where it passes on the y-axis. So, this is not a proportional relationship, but it is still linear. Not proportional because it does not pass through 0, 0, and it has plus or minus something off to the side of the equation. So, this on this one is minus 1. So here's an example. We have three things that we want to accomplish. First thing, I want to graph the data that we're given. The second thing, I want to write an equation for the data that we're given. The third thing, I want to see how many miles we ran in 30 days. So the very first thing that we have to do, graph the data. So here's the data that we have. We have our days and we have our miles ran. Our days are for our x's. Miles ran is our y. So if we start graphing it, 1 comma 2, 2 comma 4, 3 comma 6, and this 4 comma 8 is going to be a little bit farther, further off. So if we graph this and we draw our line, This is our graph that we're going to be working with. So our next step, we have to write an equation. So what's the equation that we said for a proportional relationship? It has to be y is equal to kx. Now k is our rate of change. It's the 
change of y over the change of x. So this little triangle that I drew, this is also uh, can be related to as the change of something. So we have we have our points. We know it goes through zero zero. So what's the change of y? From that we could start at one point and then go to the go to the next point. So what's the change of y? It looks like we have to go up two. So it looks like we're going up two, and our change in x looks like we're going over to the right one. So that would be two over one. If we what is so what is two divided by one? We could still rewrite this as y equals two x. So this is our equation y is equal to 2x. Now, how many miles are ran in 30 days? So all that we have to do, remember, days are our x. If we're looking for 30 days, all we have to do, plug it in for x, so 2 times 30 is equal to 60. So, in 30 days, we will be running 60 miles. So now we need to write an equation for each graph. Um, so we have two equations. Remember, what is our possible equation? The, the one that we're working with is y equals kx. Now how do we find k? Or what is k? Remember, it's the change of y over the change of x. So we can just keep y as the same. Now we just have to find k. The points that we have. Looks like we have a point at 0, 0. We have a point at 4, 1. So now what do we have as the change of y? So to go from 0, 0 to 4, 1, we have to go up 4. So it looks like we have change of y is 4. And what's the change of x? We have to go to the right, 1. So it's 1. Now we have x. So how, if, if we want to simplify y equals uh, 4 over 1, we can just rewrite it as y is equal to 4x. And this is the equation of this first graph. Now the second graph. Remember, we still have y equals kx. That's for a proportional graph. But, let's look at the graph. Is this a proportional graph or non-proportional graph? Remember, with a proportional graph, it has to go through 0, 0. But we're not going through 0, 0. Where are we going? We're going through 0, comma 2. So, if we go through 0, 2, we must add on our b, or wherever we cross is on the y-intersect. So where does it cross on the y-intersect? It crosses at the 2. So the first thing we could do is plug in this 2 for b. Now we have y equals plus 2, and we have our x. Now we have to find our change, our rate of change, so this is the change of y over the change of x. And then we have our two points, one right here at 0, 2, another one here at 4, 3. Now, what's our change in y? Looks like we have to go up 1. And what's our change in x? Looks like we have to go to the right four so let's just keep this as a fraction as one-fourth so the equation that we have now finally is y is equal to one-fourth x plus two 
So remember our steps. First thing, check to see where it crosses. If it crosses at zero at the zero zero, we're going to use y equals kx. If it crosses some somewhere else on the y-axis, we're going to use y equals kx plus b. B is where it crosses on the y-intercept. And again, the chain the k is equal to the change of y over the change of x. So now I want you to do it. I want you to try these two uh, graphs. I want you to write the equation for both of these. So pause the video and unpause it when you're ready to see what I've done. Alright, so this first one. Let's look. It is linear, but is this proportional or non-proportional? So this is non-proportional because it doesn't cross at 0, 0. So the equation we're going to use is y equals kx plus b. So what is what do we have for b? b is where it crosses on the x-intercept, or on the y-intercept, excuse me. So it crosses at 0, 4. So it crosses on the 4. So we're going to plug in 4. Now we still have y, and we still have x. Now we have to find k. Remember, k is the change of y over the change of x. So let's see here, we have two points. We have 0, 4 and 2, 0. So to go from 0, 4, what's the change in y? It looks like we have to go down 4. So we write that as a negative 4. And what is the change in x? Looks like we have to go to the right 2, which is a positive 2. So now we just have y is equal to negative 4 divided by 2 x plus 4. So let's simplify this. If we simplify it, negative 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 and negative 2. So if we rewrite this, y is equal to negative 2 x plus 4. And this is our equation for the first one. For the second one, I see that it is a proportional relationship because it goes through 0, 0. So we will use y equals kx. So now what's k? k is the change in y over the change of x. So if we have our two points, 0, 0 and 5, 5, looks like we will go the change in y looks like we have to go up 5 and the change of x is we have to go to the right 5 so now we have y is equal to 5 divided by 5x and how do we write if we simplify 5 divided by 5, we could simplify it as y equals 1x. Or even if we want to, we can just write it as y equals x. Both of these answers are the same, and both of these answers are correct. So now it's time for review, our quick review. Things that are proportional. Remember, when you graph it, it must go through the point 0, 0, or the origin. And the equation that we will use, y is equal to kx. If it's non-proportional, it does not go through 0, 0. So the equation is y is equal to kx plus b, where b is equal to where it crosses on the y-intercept.